All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's VP here. Welcome back to the finale, the final episode of Parisno. And uh, what a freaking ride this series has been. Um, there are very few series I can say that I've enjoyed as much as this one. Uh, and that's because there's very few series that we take it to completion, that we finish the mod, that we conquer the entire map, let alone a map as large as Parisno's. Um, I even said in the beginning of the series, I didn't think we were going to finish it. Thought it was too big, too much to handle. But, uh, that is obviously <laughs> not the case. We've been having too much fun with it. And, uh, now we stand on the precipice of victory. The Realm of the Falcon has but two, two fiefs remaining. And, uh, well, we're going to take this one real quick. I am the Marshal right now, um, and I called our army together. So, we're going to quick take this one and then bring our entire army against Fountain Hall. And it is one final battle for Parisno. Um, and it should be pretty cool. I'm hoping. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, show you what we're rolling with right now. So, got our household guards. Got a decent amount of, of uh, Crimson Rangers. I brought out our Templars of Faith. Got a couple of Renweirds. Um, all of our Parisno Rune Knights. All of our Paladins of Faith. 92 Drakenmeisters. You guys thought I forgot about these. Hell no. These guys are what carried us through this series. Uh, some hired sharpshooters just because they did some work for us. And some Gelderan Dukes to finish it off and give us some extra morale. Let's do this. There's only 368 in this castle, which is actually a lot lower than I was expecting. Oh, it's a siege tower. No. Oh, God. All right. Well, everyone else might actually come to us at this point. Um, okay, there's a couple lords. There we Oh, look at them trickle in. Look at them trickle in. Here we go. Here we go. Is that enough? Oh, we're ready to go. How many? Oh, look at the look at how many dudes we have with us already. Okay, and this isn't even close to all of the guys we're gonna have. All right. Um, charge, I guess. There's so many dudes. I don't even wanna kind of micromanage. Only nine of our guys are in this battle. Nine out of two hundred of our troops are our own, and we have seven hundred and like thirty troops. And so what, we have a, a, a 120th, not even 120th of the total amount of troops? That would put our numbers at like 14,000, which there's no way we have 14,000. Um, but god damn, okay. Alright, I see you. I see you. Not gonna lie, these Realm of the Falcon guys have been a lot tougher than uh, I expected. Um, it's not even so much their elite troops. Their elite troops are good, don't get me wrong. But it's their, uh, oh shit, we need to get them to run away from me here. That's the only way we're going to get in. Oh, let me through, let me through, let me through. Oh no, we're so dead. We're so dead. There's no way. Oh, run. Hide. Hide, Torvik. We need you to stay alive to give to give health to everybody and inspire the troops by, by hiding from everybody. Well, I don't know how he inspires the troops, but apparently this is what they like to see. As long as he's alive, I guess. Damn, but yeah, look at these guys. This might actually be a run weird right here. In which case, we'll back off from those archers as well. we got to be careful. We're playing on max difficulty right now. Full 150% difficulty. Um, or something like that. I actually... I was playing on a full 150% leading up to this. Uh, I think it went down a little bit just because I had to turn the battle size down. Because the game was actually, actually crashing. Uh, and that was, that was really annoying when I'd work for um, <laughs> a couple hours just to have to replay it all. Uh, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, look at all of our dudes get knocked unconscious. That's the that's the one thing. Um, they're very tough. They don't kill too many people, though. They generally don't kill too many people. There's not even many of our own troops are getting knocked unconscious here. It's everybody else's. Uh, yeah. Shit. Are, can they, are they not able to get in? They might just not be able to get in right now. Um, hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do about this? Okay, we got a couple Drakenmeisters coming in here. They might be able to be able to break it down. The whole reason I didn't want to have our army here for this first siege, why I was going to go in by ourselves, was because, um, I know our, our allies' troops are a lot weaker than ours. They're not that great. So here, tell you what we're actually going to do here. Um, oh fuck, we have to build another siege tower. Whatever, that's fine. Um, we'll wait for more people to show up. Ooh, there's their army. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. They kind of want to come in. Bring it. Bring it, bitches. Nah, I run away. I knew y'all y'all were too scared. I think we're just gonna actually auto battle this one. Um 
Shit. Oh my god, I didn't auto-battle it. Whatever. Okay, let's, uh... Tell you what, we'll put, like, these archers right here. Uh, I'm gonna turn cavalry charge in. We killed a decent amount of them, considering that they only have 300 total in the garrison. The fact that we killed, I don't know how many we killed, but, like, I don't know, 50, 60 of them? That's even... That right there is even a decent amount. Go ahead and heal up real quick. Oh my god, they are comboing us with these arrows. That's fine. That's fine. Bring it. Y'all gonna learn today. It looks like we're not even the, the only one with uh, Crimson Rangers. I think some of our uh, lords that are joining us have some as well. It'd be nice if they just brought in their elite troops. Well, I guess it is possible that these are their elite troops. Be a little sad if that was the case, but there we go. Headshot him. Okay, this one seems to be going a little bit better. Just gotta get rid of these archers. That's the other thing. So their archers are only worth like 300 experience, most of them. How was the? How were these shots not hitting? Does he have like a? What the fuck? That was weird. Um, most of the archers only have like 300 ex or only are worth 300 experience, but they do a ton of work against our guys. Um, so I don't know if that's just like a numbers thing, but like, you gotta remember, we're going against these guys with like our, our household guards that have some of the best armor in the game, and they're getting destroyed by, uh, these, these archers that are only worth 300 experience. They're not even like Kaiser Lich level archers, let alone Crimson Ranger. Um, so I don't know. That was a bit annoying. A little bit annoying. We'll drop some healing for our troops, can we? We must have already done that. Are we at least breaking through this time? That's my main concern. We've at least killed more of them than they've killed of us. It's hard to tell with this mini-map. Well, I'm going to see if I can't get us to uh, sneak up there and actually get in on this battle. Okay. Well, the only way we're going to get in is if uh, <laughs> we told them to run away and then come back. So that's what we're going to try to do here. Oop, we got messed up. Okay, it's wide open here. I don't know why these dudes aren't charging in. What's going on? Although I don't like all the archers here. They're making me dance. Run away. Avoid the arrow fire. Alright, take them out. Uh, would it be a smart idea for us to try to charge those archers? The answer is no. Are we going to do it, however? Probably. <laughs> Just being realistic, we're probably going to go do that. Alright, our troops are starting to break through. Our Drakenmeisters are going off. Oh, I've been missing them. Oh, we haven't used those guys in a while, just because there's been not really much of a way for us to get them back, so I didn't want to lose them. I wanted to have them for these, uh, this final battle. Um, and you got to remember, so this is, this is against just a little over 300 Realm of the Falcon troops. Uh, what is it, Fountain Hall? I'm pretty sure the garrison alone is, is well over a thousand. And did you see that army of troops that they had with them? Um, this is gonna get interesting. They're gonna get very interesting. Oh, shit. Okay, we might have bit up a bit more than we can chew. Right, we'll do a little fearsome cry action. Now that our troops are actually in, we're doing fine against them. That and the troops that are spawning in are, are pretty shitty. It's, you know, none of their Ren Weirds or any, anything like that. Um, the one good news is... Uh, that army that we saw, that massive clump of their own troops that they have, their own lords, most of them aren't Realm of the Falcon lords. Um, we've had one or two of them, actually I don't think we've had any of them join us, but most of them are just the random guys that they've recruited from all the other factions, and a whole bunch of lords have just left altogether, left Prisno. Um, because sooner or later, every single faction has turned them down, especially now that there's only two of us, if the Realm of the Falcon turns them down, and they're not honorable, those fuckers are out of here. We don't, we don't need any dishonorable dudes bringing our kingdom down. Um, and we actually got a decent amount of them. Decent amount of good natured and all that from, uh, from Drahara. I was kind of surprised. Pleasantly surprised. So we'll see if they're with us in this battle. I think there were some brothers, like, uh, Fahim and Rahim or something like that. They were both good natured. Good family they got there. Teaching their boys right. So take this, this is the last dude. One enemy left? Hey, there we go. Boom. Alright, so, the castle is down. There is but one target remaining. 
Ooh, nice little Crimson Ranger. Oh, oh, we didn't lose a single troop there. Uh, tell you what, Crimson Ranger better than a Duke. Take some more Ren Weirds. Got eight of the Ren Weirds captive. Those guys are really freaking good. Um, we're gonna leave the rest of these to get taken by our friends, I think. If they will have them. Anybody want some of this? Doesn't look like it. Holy fuck! I just had a- Oh my god, there's a spider that just dropped down on my screen. Get the fuck out of here! I was like, looking at it, I was like, what the hell is that? I thought it was like a pixel or something. <laughs> like, dying. No, it was just a spider that moved down. It was like a real tiny one, but... Whatever, that was weird. <laughs> uh... Perks of living, uh, or well, not living, but doing this in the basement right by some windows that lead to the outside. All right, uh, who are we going to give this to? Let's give this to our boy. Uh, let's give it to Garion. Yeah, I was going to give it to Herzog Oscar, but um, we already gave him a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll give it to Garion. Those two are our most valuable allies. Okay, we've got an army. Let's freaking use it. Holy shit, that is so many. Oh my god. And I think we got, oh, we got some dudes over here. Oh, let's go. Five? They've got 5,000 fighting here already, not counting the rest of these dudes? All right, come here. Come here, army. Who's in here right now? I'll be honest, no one important. Um... So I'm not too fussed if we don't actually save him here. Go in! Go in, my... Ooh, Falcon Claw has been besieged. Alright, interesting. Oh my god, this is so chaotic! But it's awesome! It's awesome at the same time! Make them fear for their lives! Shit. This is gonna be interesting. Yep, Fountain Hall here. Okay, 1674, just in the garrison. Wow, we got to Fountain Hall real quick. That was weird. Oh, it's a Siege Tower too? Oh my god. Okay. Here's the army. They're coming in. I don't know how many how many of the Realm of the Falcon Lords got in there. I'm hoping not too many. Okay. 30 hours. Here we go. Um... I was gonna say attack while I stay back, but we don't have to do the whole siege like that. Let's just see how it looks here. We lose. Whoa. Whoa, was that a mistake? Did I just make a mistake? Okay, we lost 1,000 to there. More than that? 500? Oh, that's some BS. Okay, we're charging in. <laughs> we're charging in. Forget that. I don't know how many troops they have. I don't know how long this is going to take. But however long it takes, we will do it. 155 renown for the battle for the battle. Okay. At least it means we're not that outnumbered. Oh, this looks epic. This looks so sweet, guys. Oh man. Okay. Come on. Let's charge in, boys. How do we got? Okay, they do outnumber us a little bit. It would appear Ouch. Okay, we're getting shot already. Oh my god. Alright, well, we're gonna get up on the siege tower. They're, they're just surrounding us. <laughs> this is gonna be sweet. This is awesome. Might actually be better if we didn't have our vassals with us, but I mean, I don't know if we could take this without them. How far away are these dudes? Can I just hit somebody? That might be a lot farther away than I think it is. I mean, I know that's really far away, but come on. Oops, oh, whoops, my bad. My bad. Is this moving? This legitimately does not feel like it's moving. Oh my god, look how freaking slow this thing is. Oh, can we just... Wait, hold up, is that a gate? Can we just bust down the gate? Oh, shit. Let's just bust down the fucking gate, if that's the case. That's what one of the uh, the dwarven towns was, um, Karnoth. I wish I'd actually shown that one in the in the episode rather than the other one, Dwalnor. I think that we sieged because that one was really cool. Um, is this? Oh no, it's not. Okay, it's not. Never mind. 
Never mind, false alarm. Okay, well, I guess I'll be back once we get this thing up here, however long that takes. Um, yeah, Jesus, I don't know. Could be a while. Hmm. Well, this is odd. We appear to have learned levitation. What is the use of the siege tower if we've learned how to levitate? Holy shit, that took a while. Let's freaking go, boys. The battle for Perizno is about to begin, and I'm liking the look of this, actually. Now that we're getting closer, it looks like we're just going to get dropped off right into, uh, right into onto their ramparts. Now, we just have to get there first. They've killed about 100 of us already, which compared... Holy shit. Okay, no, it's not as bad as I thought it was about to be. Oh, no, no, no! Are you... Fucking kidding me? How does that happen? How does that happen? Oh my god. We were literally walking over the. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Alright, well, at least our boys are getting in now. Um, all we have to do is break through that line of troops and we should be in business. However, I just saw Ericanus and Tylan both go unconscious. Um, they're getting a good amount of kills. They're one of the few of our units that are actually in here, because we only started out with 10. It's not amazing. But yeah, so they took out about, about 100 or so of us um, already. In the grand scheme of things, that's not really a whole lot, because most of them are getting knocked unconscious. And um, because we have a huge freaking army here, regardless. And this is the last battle, so who cares if they are knocked unconscious or die? I mean... I guess we don't want them to uh, to die because there is actually a pretty large amount of Falcon units um, hanging outside the town. I I think I hope they're not all in here. If they're all in here, then this is this is probably not going to work out. <laughs> this is all I'll say. Um, I don't want to have to do this siege again just because it it legit took I think around seven or eight minutes for that siege tower to get from one end to the other, which is just absurd there's no like there's no need for that it's not <laughs> that's not enjoyable uh like there's just no reason no reason for that at all oh, shit we got troops moving past me here we do actually want to get in there at some point and i swear to god if we get knocked off again i'm not going to be a happy camper I'm not going to be a happy camper i mean looking at how good our allies troops are doing in this it might have actually not been a terrible idea for us to just auto battle this a couple of times um, just to wipe out as many of the Falcon units as we could, because, I'll be honest, it doesn't look like our, our, uh, friendly units are doing too much here. Um, who knows, maybe it'll be better once they actually get inside, but, uh, for the time being, they're just kinda walking into a blender and just getting slaughtered, it seems like, with maybe a, an occasional kill here or there for the good guys. Um, we'll use our Fearsome Cry in a sec. Don't you push me off. If you push me off this goddamn... Okay, here we go. Here's some cry. Yes. Yes, don't you dare push me. Oh, we're in. Okay, thank fucking God. I was about to get so mad because it looked like we were about to slip off. Okay, we need to get... Be careful here. This dude... Who the fuck is this dude? He's going off on us. No chill whatsoever. He's still alive, too. What is that? Is that a lord or a unit or what? What was that? A Drahan Garuda. Not even anyone good. I don't know what he was doing, man. Man, I ate, his, uh, ate his Wheaties this morning. Oh, shit. We're about to get out of here. Back up, back up, and just hold strong here. Get some more friends. Friends. Friends would be nice. You guys want to come in here? Actually, do some work. That'd be great, because we, uh, our hue is not coming back anytime soon. We used it relatively recently. Can we please just have more of our units coming in here? They're just trash. All these units are trash. I think we might have actually stood a better chance of doing this just with our own army. Um, fuck. There we go. Uh huh. Go, oh, man. I hope they can do it. I really hope they can do it here. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit better. Starting to look a little bit better. I think it might just be because these guys have run out of uh, arrows to uh, slaughter our units with. That could be it. 
But more of them are starting to break in. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. It's still, even now, the kill feed is looking about even. Not even in our advantage. And uh, they outnumber us. In fact, I think, no, the kill feed actually looks like it's in their favor. So we might have to come back in and do this by ourselves. I'm not looking forward to it. Well, tell you what, we're going to let this run for a little bit, and I'll be back uh, when something uh, changes. Okay, well, I think we're going to have to end this one off here, because this is not working out. This is just a grinder for these guys. They're, they're not doing anything. So let's get the fuck out of here. See, we barely lost anybody. Our troops were doing fine. It's just our allies, they're so shitty. They're, they're really shitty. Um, So... I think what we're going to have to do, first abandon the siege, we're going to send all these fuckers home, because they ain't doing anything. Hopefully they just go over there and start fighting with them. All the, holy shit, that's a lot of dudes in there. That's a lot of guys. Um, how are they, I mean, they still have a lot of units here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do an auto battle like once or twice again. And then I'm going to send them all away and just go in by ourselves, and hopefully we can pull it off. Um, it'll be a long shot. It'll be difficult, but... Oh, no, don't leave me. Jesus Christ. I was about to say, do not... Huh, you guys cannot leave me right now. Not when I need you. Oh, ooh. Uh, who is this? Yeah, sure, we'll let them join us. We just had a whole bunch more guys join us, though. Okay, auto it. Wait, that doesn't look like we have too many people on our side. Wait a little bit. Where are they at? That does not feel like we have too many people on our side. Okay. Um, both sides fight with equal valor. Okay, alright, alright, alright. What does that mean in terms of numbers? Give me the numbers here. Okay, we lost 850. They lost... 328? Get out of here! What is this? Are you kidding me? All right, you know what? Fuck it. Just go home. Just, just fucking leave. You guys suck. Die trick. Tell him, baby. All right, we're gonna need to do this by ourselves. But first, we're gonna need some more troops because we just lost a whole bunch. Um, to all that auto battling. What are they doing here? Oh, they're in a. What are they doing? Are they sieging Fountain Hall? Oh no. 2,600 of them didn't even join that battle. That's what happened. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, that would have been freaking nice. Okay. I'm going to be right back. We, we need to go recruit a whole bunch more of our uh, household guards. And then I'm just going to stomp this by myself. No fear. Okay. So, update. Uh, went ahead and got the troops. Came back. Um, and we've been just fighting a whole bunch of their vassals and whatnot. Because that's what we need to do. We need to get rid of their vassals. Um, oh my god, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Uh, okay, so, they're all down. I'll go ahead and take these dukes. We've killed several thousand of them by now. Uh, another several thousand of them. Um, but the problem is, I don't think the ones inside the castle are even leaving. They're just, they're just freaking chilling right now. It's really frustrating. I'm not... I'm really not honestly sure what we should do here. Oh, wait. Okay, JK, they're leaving the castle. This just in, they are leaving the castle. So I think we need to go in and take them out now, though they have so many people. So many people. Okay, there's 448 of them over there. Okay, they're kind of running away. Some of them went back to Fountain Hall. Right, let's build a siege tower and see what happens. Just see what happens. Um, so we actually took Field Marshal Gunner prisoner, though. So that's their leader. That's their big guy. Um, they've still got a decent amount of troops in here, but we're at nearly 700 ourselves, or at least we will be by the... Fuck, these guys are coming in to hit us right now. Okay, so let's go to, like, this side of the fountain hall, a little bit farther away, just so less of their allies come in to help when they come and try to attack us. Oh, no, they're not attacking us. They're just patrolling. Interesting. Okay. Shit, JK. Okay, oh, it's only three of them? Oh, bring it on. We'll take on, we'll take on this many. No problemo. No problemo. Because we're, we're stacked right now. 
Uh, even against Field Marshal Gunner and his uh, Ren Renweird Marshals, the some of the best units in the game. Oh, we crushed him. We crushed him like probably ten or even twenty to one in terms of casualties. Ooh, is the dire is the dire wolf or dread wolf feeling a little slow? Did it get? It got taken out a couple times in those battles. Oh shit! It might have actually gotten. Holy shit! So many arrows. Please help, troops. I already used my heal too. Oh no! Oh no! Run! Okay, we're gonna drop some healing for our troops, even though that probably wasn't necessary. And we got taken out anyways by a marksman, whatever. Yeah, but look, our uh, once our household guards get in, oh, it's over, baby. It's over. Yeah, look at that kill for you. That is beautiful. Keep in mind, like I said, max difficulty right now. Um, how many troops were there in total for them? They didn't have that many. 300? 400? I think it was like 300. Okay. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Do we want to recharge back in? The only reason I say that is so that we can use our abilities and actually heal up. Uh, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. But our dudes are just... We're, we're, they're slaughtering them so fast right now. There's almost not much need. It's so funny watching all the... Uh, all the wyverns just run across the map like little ants and whatnot, bumping into each other, not knowing what the hell's going on. Oh, 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 maybe we should pull out. One of our household guards got knocked unconscious there. I think the battle's turned against us. The tide is really changing. <laughs> oh, man, okay. I think this is their last reinforcement wave, too. Holy shit. Oh, we need to take more fights like these. Who are these guys that we're fighting? Now it's just like, I guess, it, oh, okay, Maccabian units. But Maccabian units aren't bad. I think that just goes to show how OP these uh, Realm of the Falcon guys are. I mean, we've known that since the beginning of the series. And we were first a vassal for, for the Hacken Empire, how tough they were. We knew how tough the, uh, uh, it was going to be to take them over eventually. And now we're finally here. All right, well, that was easy. Uh, we're taking everybody prisoner, everybody that we can, um, just because we don't need them spawning back in. Uh, okay, I'll take a Crimson Ranger. I don't really need the rest of these dudes, do we? I'm going to take the Draken Ridders. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt having them just for the uh, the siege. Just a couple of units. Yeah, I don't know. Not actually huge fans of the rest of these. Anything good here? We don't have a... Okay. Oh, never mind. We have a decent amount of food. Um, we should be okay. How much time do we have left? Oh, 22 more hours. Shit, we better spend any time. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we will hang out right here. And we'll see if that army comes back to try to attack us. It looks like they're going away right now. That's a mistake. That's a mistake! Alright, we're gonna do this. Oh, wait. Oh, we gotta wait another freaking... Or, well, you guys don't have to, but I'm gonna have to wait another, like, seven minutes before this freaking siege tower gets there. Alright, BRB. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting very close. This one has gone a lot better since we, uh, told all of our boys to stay back there. A lot freaking better. We, uh... Yeah, we've only lost 25, opposed to well over 100 uh, in the last one. But we're almost there, and actually our guys should just auto charge as soon as the as soon as this gets lowered. Unfortunately, they were sending forward to like our best units. All four of our uh, room knights went forward, and uh, three of them got knocked unconscious, but one of them died, which is a little unfortunate. But I mean, whatever. It's the last big battle. Well, I say that. Um, after the siege, we're gonna have a big battle to try to finish off the rest of their vassals because we can't have them retaking any castles. Uh, that's for certain. Is this? Are we freaking close enough yet? Come on, man. Lower this bitch. Come on. I've been hiding in here for most of it because look at our freaking shield. We're a goddamn porcupine. It's the right color too, kinda. Um, and it's actually yeah, it's looking pretty worse for wear. Are we there yet? Are we even moving anymore? Oh, it's just barely moving at all now. Come on. 
Come on. Push it. Push it, baby. There we go. All right. Now we're charging in. Everybody go. Oh, okay. Dragonmite's just going to get fucked up. Uh, this Paladin of Faith is actually probably going to get fucked up, too. All right. Tell you what. Come back here. I don't want you to die. Or get stuck there. That works, too. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, now our boys have to actually make it here. In fact, I'm going to tell them to hold your fire just so that they pull out their shields and don't take as much um, range damage while they're getting here. Okay, they're moving pretty speedy. Oh, a lot of them actually have lost their shields. I guess they've just been taking so much fire. It's not too surprising. All right, well, we'll go through with this first crew, and we'll see what we can do. Um, I don't think they're going to do the greatest since they don't have any shields, but uh, hopefully the second wave will be able to do a little more damage. Um, okay, what are we looking at here? Okay, a lot of, uh, a lot of hacking units, actually. Not really what I was expecting. I was expecting still a lot more... Honestly, I was expecting almost entirely... Um, Realm of the Falcon units because it's their their last fief. And they don't have many lords in here. Unlike the last one where they probably had more... They had a lot more troops from lords than they did from the actual garrison. Now it's almost entirely just the garrison. Uh, let's drop some healing for our troops here. Uh, but that, I can already see the kill fees looking a lot better. We're getting hit up though. We need to hide. Um... I'm not sure where, where can we hide at? Because our number uno, numero uno priority is to stay alive, baby. Because our troops are going to need all the healing they can get. And because, you know, I actually want to survive the siege for once. Ever since we turned the difficulty way up, it's, it's been pretty hard to survive an entire siege. Come on, come on, give me some healing, baby. Just give me a little bit, just give me a little bit. Right? Is anybody shooting? Oh, there's someone shooting. Probably from over here. Oh. Oh, we gotta watch out. There's all kinds of dudes here. Oh, I think we're gonna get knocked out, unfortunately. Oh, there goes our shield. Okay, we got another one. Don't like it. We're surrounded. We are surrounded. Oh, no! I wanted to survive. I wanted to survive. I didn't want to be a bitch and just hide in the siege tower for the entire siege. That wouldn't be any fun. Ah, come on. Come on. I mean, good news is, the siege is looking a lot better than the previous one already. It's looking a lot better. Um, especially now we've got a full wave of troops coming in that actually have shields. <laughs> Hopefully that's a good sign. Um, yeah, let's see how they do here. They're slowly starting to pile on in. If these guys could just, you know, move a little bit, that'd be nice. Move out of the way of everybody else. I like how they always keep their footing, but yet... As soon as that, that last time when we tried to get up here, nope, we're going to fall all the way down there and shatter our ankles. And probably our femurs, too. Uh, okay, sweet. They've already brought, broken through here. There's not really a blockade if they keep on moving here. Stop getting stuck. What are you doing? Move. Hey, come on, buddy. <laughs> the ghost of Torvik is ordering him around. Do something. Do something, baby. Yeah, that kill feed is looking a lot better. All right. We might have done it, boys. <laughs> we might have done it. It is, uh, wow. It is 5 a.m. right now. Um, and I have to get this. Not only finish recording this episode, which is probably going to take a while, because I want to finish everything off in this series, but I also have to render it and then upload it for tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm going to probably be up to, like, 7, 8 a.m. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> That's just how it's gonna be. That's just how it's gonna be. Damn. <laughs> yeah, my sleep schedule, it's it's never getting back on track. I've just realized it at this point. It's it's never gonna get back on track. Not not as long as I'm making daily videos. Um and and working at the same time. There's enough time in the day to do to do uh, one of those two but not the other. Um so I'm just not gonna sleep. Just not gonna sleep so I can do both. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, this is looking good. This is looking real good. And I like how our forces have actually split up. These ones over here. Oh, yeah, they split up into three, actually. These ones are going to clear out these archers. Uh, I assume some are eventually going to go over and get those archers. These ones are fighting. This is where their main reinforcements come in from. And these guys are kind of sneaking around the back and hitting these guys, all these archers. I'm loving it. I'm loving the tactics. I told you guys. 
We, we, we're fine. It was our allies that sucked. Now, look at us. Look at me now. We're doing work. We're doing work. Okay. Come on. We can pull through this. 250 killed so far. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be a while, though. Still gonna be a while. Uh, I think I'll actually... I'm actually gonna pause the recording and let our troops kind of grind through some more of them because I'm sure it's going to take them a while to get through this uh, this choke point. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. Alright, well, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, so um, it was looking really dicey there up until about a minute ago. Um, there was a huge, huge amount of troops that were just stocked up here. Holy shit, no, don't... Oh. I was worried that the game was about to freeze and crash when it has this many uh, troops on. Um, and we were actually not killing them as fast as we needed to be. We were actually going to lose the siege if that kept up. But then our boys, the Drakenmeisters, showed up and managed to break through that. And now I think we're going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. Um, killed, let's see, about 1,100 of them so far. And so we knew the garrison had about 1,300 some, and there were a couple lords in there, so I don't know, maybe 15, 1,600 in total, somewhere around there. Uh, the one thing I am worried about, though, still, is over here. I noticed that a whole bunch of our guys were uh, just chilling here. Like, they're after somebody. They're after these guys. Four of them? Five of them. Five dudes in here. Um, And I'm really worried. I don't... Oh, there's even more over here. Oh, no. I'm worried that we might not be able to... It won't count this as a win if uh, those guys remain alive at the end of this. So that's going to really suck um, if it comes down to that. Hopefully, I mean, there's no way for us to get to them. Those guys are stuck there. Yeah, look at this. There's, <laughs> there's no way for us to get there. They're glitched out. This is like about, what, 10 of them or so? I don't even think you're supposed to be able to get through here. No, those are iron bars. You're not supposed to be able to get through there. So, hopefully they give us the win afterwards, even if those guys are still alive. Um, if not, what we can try to do is just ask them to surrender, since um, they'll only have, you know, like 10 dudes remaining in the castle. And they might take us up on that. I really hope I don't have to come back in here with that stupid siege tower just to kill off 10 dudes. I will be very, very unhappy. Um, anyways, we're finishing this off, although I don't like how there are these guys just behind all of our troops killing us. Um, we're getting to the tail end of our troops here as well. Uh, if you look at those reinforcements coming in, they're almost entirely Gelder and Dukes, uh, our weakest units in this army. So, yeah, we need this to wrap up quick. Is, is what I'm trying to say. We need this one to end real quick. Okay. Uh, I take back what I said. The Gelder and Dukes are cleaning up right now. Um, yeah, they just stomp through everybody. They're, they're almost like doing better than our household guards were. Um, but maybe we need to take a look at those stats. Maybe the Gelder and Dukes are actually going to be better in, in sieges? I mean, their armor is not as good, but maybe they're just... Uh, you know, their their proficiencies and all that are better. I have no idea, but they're taking these guys down to the corner. Um, hopefully this doesn't glitch everything out. Hopefully. I mean, what, we've killed... Uh, getting close to 1,500 of them now. I don't think they have too many left. I don't think they have too many left, so... We'll see. Alright, I think we finally did it. Uh, all those guys are running around, so I think the last 13 enemies are the ones that are stuck behind here. So, I guess we have to end it. I mean, tell you what, we can wait for these, uh, for these guys to get close to them. Because I think it works kind of like retreating, where if you have a bunch of units nearby to each other, they're, they're, uh, they're more likely to die, more likely to kill each other. Um... I just don't see how 13 of them are really going to get taken out here. I, I find that really unlikely, but here we go. 
I hear you gave it to us. You were victorious. Okay. 599 of us taken out. Only 123 killed, though. That's really not too bad. And 1843. Boom. All right. Um, We're taking all of them prisoner. Just in case they retake a castle here, I can't risk these guys spawning back in. So, sorry about this. Kind of. Not really. I'm, re I'm not really sorry about this. After how tough that was to take that fucking uh, castle, I'm not sorry at all. Holy shit, there's a lot of lords in there. There we go, no problem. Oh, baby. Okay. We're gonna get you, we're gonna get you. Um... Oh, man. 107 Renweirds held prisoner? What? Holy shit. Okay, this one's going to us, I think. We're, we're keeping this one. Um, all right. What do, we, what do they got here? Actually, nothing too crazy. Uh, let's defer appointment just so that the prisoners go into the pool here. Uh, manage the garrison. Sweet. Okay, all the prisoners are there. Holy shit, that's a lot of units. A lot of prisoners. Okay, let's sell them off. Even though money doesn't matter, I know, but I just want to see. Oh, 200,000 for that first bit. We have 18 Lords Prisoner. Just took another 600 plus out. That's not even scratching the surface still. 232,000 Orums. Oh my god. There we go. There's the rest of them. Jesus, man. There you go. Um, Garrison-wise, I think we want to put these guys in here just in case we get taken out. I mean, it's unlikely, but... Um, you have to remember, a lot of our guys are wounded right now. Yeah, look at this. We only have 41 of our household guards are able to fight right now. None of our paladins. None of our rune knights. Only one of our templars. How many of our... Drakenmeisters, 10 out of the 51 that remain. Yeah. Um, do we want any of these dudes? They're all just chilling. That's so many units. So many units. Okay. Give me some food here. Stock us back up, baby. We're blowing cash on, on even some wine and honey. Some butter. Let's, uh, okay. Let's just look and see here. It's got 585. Okay, that's not a ton in the garrison, but it's it's enough to hold off probably most of this. So, now we need to finish off the rest of their lords. Um, thankfully, we've taken so many of them out that... Oh, 16 of them just... Okay, it doesn't matter if they escape too much. Really, what we need to focus on here is just not letting them successfully siege any castles. Um, they don't, they're not doing that right now, I don't think. No? Okay. Should be alright. There's, okay, there's a lot of dudes. Um. Is there anyone here? Who can we talk to here? Can we hire an army here? Ah, yeah, that's what we should do. Um. Give me a prisoner army, and give me, uh, what's the most expensive group here that we can get? Ooh, we can get the, the Company of the Order of Faith. Yes, let's get them. Sweet. Are they, do they spawn right here? Do both of them spawn right here? Yes, they do. Oh, awesome. That'll help us defend and take out some of these guys. That'll help out a lot. Company, oh, the Faith or Company is actually following us. Awesome. So we're going to get a bunch of Paladins, too. Okay, so let them fight. Um... Where the okay, this is where their their main army is. So we got to look here. The banners are the actual lords. So there's like about ten lords or so here. Our dudes are rapidly healing up. Um, got our armies here, the prison known armies and all that. They should be fine. I actually wouldn't mind if they took out uh, the the order of faith because then we could fight them back and then get all those. Uh, Faith units that they'd be taking out and then holding prisoner. But I doubt they're gonna win, actually, from the looks of it. And they might. We'll, uh, tell what. We'll let them fight. We'll let them fight. We're gonna hold off here and heal up. And, okay. They're starting to get a lot. Starting to get more troops than I was, uh, planning on here. A bit more than I wanted. Um. Okay. Okay. 
Ye. Uh, how are we doing here? So 450 of our own guys here. Oh, they actually survived that somehow. Do they have any rune knights in here? No, it's just regular prisoner units. So nothing too crazy. And it's only 30 grand. That's really cheap, actually. Is Eldek the Chosen One is here? Seriously? Alright, we're going to let them take those armies out. And then we're just going to go in. Oh, and i got to collect all this money up. Because once we're finished here, I'm going to pull all of the money that we have from all of our different sources. And uh, we're going to see just how rich Torvik Underhelm is. We, I mean, we already know. We far surpassed the 10 million goal um, that we had for the end of the series. We're far past that. The question is, how how far did we go past that? Oh, man. Okay, lots of dudes here. Okay, let's, let's, let's discourage the rest of them from coming into this fight. We might actually fight them right now. Oh, no, they're running away. They're running away. Good. Okay. The Order of Faith is almost down as well. Let's quick run for these guys. Take them out. Surrender, die. Only 138 of them. And we should get some paladins here. We only had six paladins. Um, we should be able to get a lot more. I think at least ten should have been taken prisoner, right? Something like that. Now, we gotta be careful. We've been getting knocked out a whole bunch. Just, I mean, part of it is we're just on max difficulty. And we're playing against the the hardest, hardest other faction in the game right now. But uh, I want to actually survive one of these. That's a goal. <laughs> We should be able to survive this one. There's not that many enemies. I mean, this is not going to stop us from charging directly into the middle of them. YOLO. Yeah, we'll be fine. Look at all the look at all of our household guards coming in. Oh, that's beastly. So beastly. I think I turned the battle size all the way up to max, which in Prisno is only like 380 or something like that. So it's not too crazy, but still heal ourselves now on you go oh yeah oh yeah this one's almost already over uh three units left is that what I see these guys were they even I guess some of them were uh were realm of the Falcon saw some Zan units in there too who's this one dude that's still alive Fra See, man, the, the Realm of the Falcon units, units have such weird names. I don't even know what language that's supposed to be, or if it's just completely made up. Alright, there we go. Um, Get out of here, whatever. You're not coming back in. Get out of here. Blah, blah, blah. 17 Paladins of Faith. Fuck yes. Okay, that's why I wanted to do it. Just to get them. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'll take the Freelancer Marshal. The rest of these units don't really care about. All right, all right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I think um, I'm just gonna let our own units come in and uh, deal with these guys. And uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna go around and collect all of our money up. And hopefully, the realm of the falcon will be, you know, hopefully they'll get taken out just on their own eventually. There's a, a nice 400k from this one alone. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Ah, finally. It took so long to track down all their little lords, but we finally got them all. Perizno conquered by one kingdom. The Gilded Kingdom has defeated all rivals and stands as the sole kingdom. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. All right, let's, uh... So I went ahead, went to all the towns, collected up our money from the landlords. However, I, I kind of forgot about it. We still have all the money from our treasuries that we have in our, uh, I think, four towns we have. Bulgan, Culvera, Murdenhall, and Freising. So uh, I'm going to quick gather up that, and then I will be right back to kind of sign off for the series. Okay, so, took a while. Uh, yeah, it took a long time because we can only remove them in increments of 10,000. And uh, when you've got millions and millions in each of your treasuries, that uh, that's a lot of clicks. Might have just given myself a, uh, early onset arthritis. But uh, here is uh, Murdenhall. It's, uh, it's quite the banger we got going on right here. A whole bunch of lords come begging, come kissing at our feet. 
too bad none of them are going to get to join us. They uh, should have joined us beforehand. But anyways, um, let's double check. Yep, only 2,000 orms remaining in the treasury. Are you guys ready to see how much money? Torvik, Underhelm, the Golden Dragon has amassed in this playthrough. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. 50,372,754 orums. Holy shit. That is by far the richest character we have ever had, and it's not even close. Our original goal was to become a millionaire. Then we're like, no, we're going to go for 10 million. We beat that by five times. 50 million orums. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I've had a lot of fun making this series. Um, shout out to Leonion, uh, the mod uh, for Parisno. You've done a wonderful job. I, I don't I don't think he's a, a single person team. If he is, it's that's mind blowing. Um, but the, the crew, the whole Parisno team, has done an amazing job. Um, this is what our third or fourth season that we've played on this, and each season it gets better and better and i think it, it it even made the biggest jump for us this time um there, yeah it, it's become incredible uh, i'm really excited to see where it's going to go in the future i mean you know uh, get a few new a few more island factions over here <laughs> just saying um but yeah no i've had so much fun uh so you guys might be wondering what is next for us what is next in terms of series um between Parisno and Prophecy of Pandora, we had a couple of kind of yeah, more long-term serious series that we had going on right now. So I'm looking for something else. I'm going to look for something a little shorter, a little quicker paced, a little fun, a little crazy. Some of you guys already know what I'm talking about. And uh, that is the mod Blood and Steel. I've, I played it once years ago and had a, had a ton of fun with that series. And I'm excited to see if uh, what all has changed in it. Um... It's kind of hard to explain. It's a crazy mod. Very crazy mod. So, uh, I'm not sure when I'll have the first episode of that. Probably at least not for a week or so. Um, I'm going to focus on some Prophecy of Pandora because I do want to get that uh, finished before... I want to say before my school starts, but that's a month and a half away. And I don't think we're going to be done in uh, that short amount of time. But at least in the next two or three months, I'd like to have uh, Pro uh, Prophecy of Pandora done as well. So anyways, thanks for all the love and support you guys have given this series. And as always, take it easy, guys.